Hi, I hope you're in a very good shape. In this video, I want to show you how to install Anaconda. If you have not heard of Anaconda, it's a Python distribution that comes with its own package manager called Conda. What is really the big advantage of Anaconda for data scientists is that it comes with almost every library we need for data science projects. In other words, if we install Anaconda, we don't need to bother with all installation of different packages that sometimes not working so well, especially in Windows, and particularly when we are beginners. Of course, if we need a package that is not installed, we can use either pip or conda commands to install it, as I explained in a previous video. I must admit some serious developers around me, especially those who do not use Windows, are telling me, come on, we don't need Anaconda. I think they are right. We don't need Anaconda, but it just makes the lives of people like me who are not serious full-time developers much easier. Also, since it has almost all the libraries we would need for our projects, it's much easier to use it for teaching purposes uh, since everybody in class will be on the same page having almost all libraries installed already. Finally, and importantly, Anaconda also includes Jupyter Notebook and Jupyter Labs that is really great to work with, as you will see in the next video. In fact, I will be installing Anaconda now and we will be using Jupyter Labs in the next few videos to do some Python projects and you will see how great it is to use Jupyter Labs or Notebook for teaching and uh, learning purposes. So uh, with this intro, uh, let's quickly go through illustration of how to download and install Anaconda. It's super easy and straightforward. Okay, so all you need is to go to Anaconda website. You can search for it or directly go uh, to the website as you see in the description on this video. And then you click on downloads and then you can choose whether you have uh, Windows, Mac, or Linux. Uh, my computer is uh, on Windows. I go and download the file. When it's downloaded, then we can open it and continue the standard installation. And here is very important that it's asking you whether you want to add it to the path or not. And you sh it's recommended not to add Anaconda to, to the path. You can always afterwards add it if you want, uh, but not adding it is, is, is recommended, uh, which means that you are going to run the commands related to Anaconda uh, within uh, the command prompt of uh, Anaconda and command prompt of Windows will not recognize the anaconda when you do not add it to the path. So we keep the recommended option, which is not to add it to the path. So we continue here. And the last part of the installation takes uh, a few minutes. So you have to be a bit patient here uh, so that it's, it's, it's done completely. We fast forward it here uh, so to come back when it's done. Okay, so it's completed. Now uh, you can install PyCharm if you want. We don't need it here. We just continue after without installation of PyCharm and then uh, that's how it is done. So we have Anaconda here. If we go to the Anaconda Navigator and if we open it, again, it takes uh, some seconds before it shows up. Here it is. And now you see that uh, everything in, is in here. Uh, you can run Jupyter Lab or Jupyter Notebook from Anaconda, which is the recommended uh, way, way to do these things. Here I run the Jupyter Lab it opens a browser for me and yes here it is and now I have all these uh, menus and folders um, 
on the left where I can you know, put different things. So it's, it's basically uh, the, you need to get used to it a little bit, how it is done. And then uh, all I need is to click on uh, here, the notebook, uh, the Python 3, and I can open it and work uh, on it, uh, write the codes in here, let's say two plus two equals four. It shows me right there uh, and it's very easy and convenient. So the last things I want to mention is the command prompt from Anaconda that I, I discussed. And here you can find uh, it on the start menu. And here you can basically uh, write the commands uh, the same way uh, as you write it in the command prompt of Windows, but it's through Anaconda and the codes are sometimes a bit different. So here, for example, instead of um, pip install, here you write conda install and so on. But more or less uh, things work uh, within Anaconda. From here, the command prompt, if you have not added it into the path, the commands will not work, uh, the conda will not be recognized in the main uh, command prompt. For example, here I can write, uh, let's say also Python version, and it gives me the version of it, uh, conda version, I can see that is 4.9.2. I can write conda list that it gives me also the list of all the uh, these packages that is uh, installed as part of Anaconda installation. Uh, so for example, the, the very famous one that we will be using very often is uh, NumPy, as you see in here, and obviously Pandas and you know, all these things that you could imagine is, is, is gonna be here. So uh, we don't need uh, much installations and we don't need to bother with installing these packages. Anaconda allows us to also create environments, virtual environments and so on that uh, you can you can read about it uh, and we will discuss it later on. But in the next session, we will be learning how to use the power of uh, Python to improve our Excel uh, models, financial models, valuation models that we, we are very comfortable doing within Excel and we can keep it th that way, but use the power of Python to, to improve on those and add additional analysis that would be very difficult to do within Excel. Okay, thank you very much for watching.